Yeah, hello guys. Uh, good morning, good evening. So, which are ten zone environment? So, in this video, we'll be discussing about uh, the performance tuning and technique. So, the most people are asking me make a video on uh, performance tuning technique. So, what are the things that has to be taken care of during the data stage environment while working on the data stage detail set? So, coming here, uh, you need to understand the methodology. From the data stage side and as well as the the database end. so what is your database end means like what is your data warehouse where you are building the warehouse so we need to consider these two factors these are uh, very very important okay so guys if you are watching my channel for the very first time please click on the bell icon and uh, subscribe to my youtube channel so whenever i uploaded a video you get a notification on the smartphone Thank you. So guys here, uh, first of all, you need to understand uh, the data volume, how much you are extracting from the source. That is the key point guys. So what is your source and how much data volume that you are extracting? So based on that, you need to uh, set the configuration file. So you need to take data stage admin help to set up the configuration file, maybe a two node or four node, so six node, it depends upon the data high volume. So in my experience, so I have used up to eight nodes. Okay, so I one of my scenario where I need to extract uh, data in a form of uh, file. So that file has uh, data almost uh, 20 million records, 20 to 25 million records daily basis I used to receive the data and that data and needs to do the validations. And finally, I need to load the data into a uh, database table that is Oracle. Okay, so here, uh, when the data is huge volume and uh, the recommendation from the DBS side is go for eight nodes to load the data faster. So we need to check with the uh, data stage admin. Okay, so they will guide you in a correct way and select the memory. Uh, buffer memory correctly on a proper partition. So you need to use the proper partition technique. So based on the stage that you are going to use. And one more important point is like uh, turn off runtime column proportion. So basically what happens is most of the cases, uh, what you guys will do is you simply uh, open this uh, runtime column proportion, even though if it is not necessary, for example, so here I have a sequential file. So just a minute. Here I have a sequential file, right? So in the sequential file, if you go to columns tab here, uh, runtime column. Normally, uh, all the people will uh, use the tick mark. So no need to do that. So here, uh, even I did not tick on this runtime uh, column propagation. So here I have done a turn off. And similarly, you can do at the transformer level also, where you will find at the transformer level. So we can find the transformer level at the output here. So see here this. Okay, so here I also have turn off. We have to do the turn off of your runtime uh, color production. Okay, so always take care of the sorting of the data. So you can see here. Uh, in my in my scenario so i already uh, taken care the data sorting techniques see here okay so we have to take care of the data sorting techniques and handling null data so null data most probably will be using transformer stage by default so my recommendation for you guys is use modify stage so here modify stage is the best option to handle the nulls so that uh, the performance of the job will Improves. Okay. So, in most of your jobs, uh, scenario like uh, try to avoid transformer stage. So, instead of uh, uh, transformer stage, what you guys can do, you can use alternate uh, relevant data uh, processing stage so that uh, it will improve the performance of it. So, for example, copy, filter, funnel, modify stage. Right. So, we can use this option. Okay. So, especially if you're using the transformer, you can use copy. Alternate method, if you are not doing any data validations, you can use copy. Or if you, if you are doing filters, you can use filter stage. If you are handling null data, data type conversion, you can use modify stage. So based on the need, uh, select the relevant data processing stage apart from transformer. 
if there is no other option and you have to create a stage variables so then we have to go to only the one and all option is transformers okay so according to your requirement you need to change the stage space okay you need to change the relevant you need to pick and change the necessary stages and use the data sets in stuff sequential file in the middle of the vast job so, so most of the jobs here what happens for intermediate data layer so use the data sets so the data sets uh, are the stages that will helps us to store the data at intermediate level and it is also secured environment data sets are secured environment when compared to sequential file stage so that we can improve the performance of it okay so in a job total number of stages should not exist more than 20 so if it exists more than 20 okay so then uh, there is an impact of the job i mean uh, the performance will be will reduced so take care of that and select join or look up or match stage depend on the data volume so here based on your input volume you need to choose the relevant uh, stages like join look up or match depend upon the data volume if it is high volume you can go for uh, merge or uh, join and if it is less volume you can go for look up and the column names are totally different you can go for look up okay and if you want to handle the nulls from the both the <coughs> input files so you can use join and transformer to handle the rejected data so already i have made a video on this how to handle the rejection transformer stage so this is one of the common entry question okay so i have shared that uh, video in the data stage real time scenarios okay so you can find out there okay so how to go go how to go there so simple you need to uh, go to youtube just see youtube by listening okay? then you can guys you can find in playlist data stage real time scenario so here i think it is the third axis so third axis is how to handle the rejection transform stage how to handle smart transform stage how to handle rejects in uh, giant stage so you can watch this uh, okay so this the video will play after the ads so this is the scenario three case so this is the video so i'm skipping that and stop propagating of unnecessary metadata between the stages so what are the metadata that is only used for for our data processing use that metadata only so unnecessary metadata if it is not required drop there itself okay and until unless if it is necessary only you can take it forward for the next stage okay and also here are here are the few more points that need to be considered to improve the performance uh, tuning techniques and to improve the performance of your data stage job. okay so here uh, stage the data coming from odbc or uh, any db2 stages any database are use hash or sequential files for uh, optimizing the performance okay so here whenever uh, your data is coming from oracle so oracle or odbc connector my, my uh, ms sql sql server you can use the server by using hash or sequential files for optimizing the performance Turn on OCA stages for array size. There will be array size and uh, row record count. So those things you need to check with the DBA guy and how much I need to define. Okay, so DBA will help you on this. Okay, so to insert uh, why we set this OCA stages and array size and uh, row, rows for a transaction because the numerical values is faster insert, update and select. Okay, turn on the project uh, tab. To, to, you know, project tunable tab in data stage admin for a better performance. You need to check this in administrator and sort the data in the aggregator. Always, guys, if you sort the data so that the performance will improve. So especially in aggregator, sort the data. So even in lookup, also sort the data, lookup merge. Okay. And join by default comes with sort tool. No need to worry about that. Uh, join stage algorithm is uh, internally, data will get sorted. Okay. So sort the data as much as possible in the database and reduce the usage of DS sort stage for the better performance. You need to use, uh, you need to reduce the usage of DS sort for uh, data set sort for better performance. Of so always sort the data at the database end so that we can increase the performance of the data. Remove the data and columns not used 
from the source as early as in the cap. Okay, as I told you earlier, unnecessary columns you can remove. Okay, so work with uh, data storage admin to create appropriate indexes on the tables for uh, better performance on the uh, data data stage for this. Okay, so here you have to use the which table and what those details and what is the complexity join uh, join functionality and use the necessary columns. Okay, so closely work with DBA to create indexes. Okay, so they will have uh, some idea and clarity about the data. What will be the primary key column and the uh, unique key column, primary index. So all these stuff, the, the data base admin will help you guys. Okay, so closely work with them. Okay, so convert some of the complex jobs, uh, complex joins between DS and store processes to store processes. So if you're using complex joins and uh, instead of uh, doing all this uh, complex data transformation, you can use store produces on DS for faster execution of the job. So if you use uh, store produces, what happens is the execution will be faster. Guys. So that is the advantage. Okay, so most of uh, scenarios uh, instead of creating a big uh, data set job, we can uh, set up everything in processor level. Okay, once the data is placed in it, uh, one uh, destination storage location area. So there we can build the script uh, by creating a store producer. If you execute that, the execution speed will be faster. Okay. If an input file has a excessive number of records can be split it into standard logic to run the job. So if it is having massive records, more heavy records, and we can split that records to run the jobs in a multiple time. Okay, so and, and one more thing, the, before writing a routine or a transformer, make sure that there is a, not a functionality required in one of the standard routines uh, supplied in the SDK or utility categories. Constraints are generally CPU in, intensive and take care of the necessary amount of time. So this database utilization, the constraints and everything, and what is the small space that's not all used, what are the constraints that have to be taken care of the routines and uh, Excel, external macros and the indent coding, and then the overhead will be minimal. Try to have the constant in the selection criteria of the jobs itself. This will, be, this will eliminate the unnecessary records even getting it, getting in before joints are made. Okay, turning should be occurs on the job by job basis. Use the uh, power of uh, DBMS. Okay, so and do not use this sort stage whenever you use order by class in the database. Whenever if you are using order by class, don't use sort stage. Use transformer or copy stage. Okay, use a constraint to filter the record, which is much slower than the performing the select to where class. Use the constraint to filter a record, which is most slower than the performing. So here uh, you can uh, filter the records in the database SQL itself. Okay, so rather than the, the constant that you applied at, uh, uh, in uh, data processing stages for, a, um, for the filter activity. Make every attempt to use the bulk loader for particular database. Bulk loaders are generally faster than the ODBs. So, Whenever it is having more than 1 million records, more than 2 million records, then in that scenario, you use to go for bulk load, the data load will be happen faster. Okay. Modify the usage of transformer instead of use. Yeah, so this we have discussed. Use the SQL code while extracting the data. So use the SQL code. Okay. Don't go for system defined uh, SQL statements at all. Use the SQL code. Okay. Handle the nulls using modification. This has been covered. Minimizing the warnings. So warning, you need to handle this. To improve the performance of the job, you need to handle at the data stage code level and reduce the number of lookups in the job design. So try to reduce the number of lookups in the job design. Try not to use more than 20 stages. So this we have covered. And <clears throat> use the IPC stages between two passive stages to reduce the processing step. Okay, so in between passive statements, what passive statement, these things will be covered in the training program. Okay, so here uh, I use IPC stage. Okay, so between uh, two passive stages, I reduce the processing time. Drop indexes before, 
drop indexes before data loading and recreate after loading the data into tables. Okay. So here you need to create, you need to drop the indexes. This this is very very important. Normally, uh, we create the table, uh, we'll drop the index, we'll load the data, then again we'll create index. Okay. And one more thing, let's check the right catch and unless you catch data file that has to be removed. Okay, so use hash file for remote duplicates. Okay, and uh, to validate the unless, I mean, to remove unnecessary data to improve the performance of the job. So at the dead stage level. So these are the tips, guys, to improve the performance uh, training technique. So if you're looking for data stage training, IBM information and like training and job support, you can always uh, reach out to me. Okay, so, so I have shared my WhatsApp number, the given description box, or you can see the headline. You can see the headline. Okay. So thanks guys for watching this video. And every month the batch will start. So this month, January 2023, the batch is going to start at uh, 28th January. So here uh, we have festivals, and uh, so that is the reason I am taking one week break, so that uh, spend nice time with your family members. Okay. So if you are looking for training and uh, those who are looking for uh, training, those who watch this video, and please uh, circulate this information and the new batch is going to start on um, 28th Jan. Okay, so 28th Jan. So 28th Jan, okay. that is 2023, Friday, 9 a.m. AST. Okay. So 9 a.m. IST time, uh, the demo will be there. So after that, uh, so that uh, we have this break and Monday onwards, we'll start the actual classes from today three onwards. Okay, so time time is at 9 a.m. IST, the batch will start today, January 2023, 9 a.m. IST. Okay. So thank you guys, have a great day.